It's not a good sign when I'm three games into the Shinon series and I'm already out of things to say. I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Every game in the Shinon series is exactly the same. Well, except for the ones that are about Shogi. But they use the same engine, the same structure, and even as somebody who likes the series... No, really, I do like the series. There aren't any real hidden depths here. Go is the ancient board game of placing black and white stones at the intersection of a grid. Players try to control as much area of the board by enclosing it with their stones, and completely surrounding the other player's stones captures them, pulling those stones off the board and shifting the final score. The game ends when both players pass, presumably because there's nowhere else that they can place stones where they wouldn't lose points. The winner is whoever controls the most territory, minus the stones that were captured by the other player. Because of the absolutely enormous quantity of playable moves in Go, historically it's been a tough nut for AI to crack. So rather than try to make a Go AI for the Famicom's 8-bit processor, the Shinon series present Go games that have been played by professionals, and then quiz the player on what the next move should be. There are 110 games in Ego Shinon 91, 30 classic games, 20 games from the post-war era, 40 games that have been played in the past year, and 20 games specifically designed to teach principles of Go. The default mode just plays the game out. You don't have any interaction with it. The second mode pauses between each turn, so you have to hit A to continue. It's the third mode that's the real heart of the game here. After the initial few turns, you're given a few different options, and then quizzed about which move should be played. You're given a score for how well you did at the end, and it's not just getting the position correct, the wrong answers are also weighted. So a move that's good but not the best will still get you some points. The final mode removes the guardrail of selecting from a few different options, and you have to pick from all the spots on the board which move would be the best. I like playing Go, but I'm not very good at it. And what the Shinon series does is reduce Go strategy down to a handful of points. It helps focus the strategic thinking of Go. You are learning about Go strategy as you play the game. Why would you play here instead of there? When is it time to abandon the structure that you've been fighting back and forth on? When should you go on the offensive? You have to think about these things while you're playing Ego Shinon while at the same time it's providing a solid demonstration of the more technical aspects. Should you be placing a stone close or far? When is that group of stones dead or already captured? Ego Shinon 91 isn't trying to do a whole lot, but it's succeeding at what it needs to do, just like every single other game in the Shinon series.